In this video, I will be installing Windows Server in VMware Workstation, and I will begin this video from Windows Server download page. I will leave URL in the description down below. And the only thing that we need to do is here is to click on the 64-bit edition, and then it will start downloading. And while it's downloading, I will go to VMware Workstation and start preparing my virtual machine. I will click on File, New Virtual Machine. Here I will select Typical Recommended and click Next. In this screen I will select I will install operating system later because I don't want for the VMware Easy Installer uh, to make any changes to my installation. And click Next. Make sure that here for Ghost Operating System you have Microsoft Windows selected and for the version it's Windows Server 2022. And click Next. I will leave the name and the location um, defaults and click next and I will also leave the disk size as default also and click next and finish. I also want to make few changes to my virtual machine so I will click edit virtual machine settings. I will increase memory from 2 to gigabytes to 8 gigabytes just so the installation is a tiny bit faster i would like also to change the network adapter from nat to bridged that that will allow us to see this virtual machine on my network as if it's just another computer and i will also be removing the sound card and the printer and also we need to select our disk image. So I will click on CD DVD. I will select use ISO image file, click browse, go to my downloads folder and select the image that I downloaded just now. And click OK. Now I will power on this virtual machine. And now we will need to click inside of it and click any key. The language settings I will leave as defaults and click next. And now I will click install now. Here I will be selecting data center evaluation. The desktop experience and the desktop experience is the important part. Uh, because if you will install the installation without the desktop experience you will only get a command line and in some cases that might be just what you want but for this video i will be installing the one with the desktop experience and click next now we need to accept with microsoft licensing terms and click next here i will select custom and next And that's kind of it. Now we need to wait a bit for it to install. It finished installing and now we need to create a password for the built-in administrator account. So I will be providing a password here and then repeating it and click finish. Now we need to enter it once again to log in. And the last step that's left is to install VMware Workstation Tools. For that, let's go to VM, install VMware Tools. Now open File Explorer and this PC. And as you can see, we have a new DVD drive. I will double click it and it should start the installation. Yeah, see here. Here I will click next, typical is fine, click next once again and install. And that's it for this video. If you would like to see more content about Windows Server, leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next one.